What's up, guys? Let's watch this. Watch this. Let's read this. Sorry. Uh, there was an update on uh, the 8th, which is today, I believe, right? Yeah, yeah, today's the 8th. So an update on Michael's case. The Fruitland Police Department continued to investigate the abduction and the, and the location of the remains of five-year-old Michael. Investigate the abduction and the location of the remains of five-year-old Michael. Didn't they say they didn't find any remains? Now they're saying they did find some remains? What? What the? F okay. Okay. Voluntary consent was obtained to search a neighbor's residence to res residence to in fruit fuck I, I can't speak 1102 Red Wing Street in Fruitland on December 2nd 2022 ground penetrating radar and certified cert and a certified human remains detection dog were deployed in the backyard of the neighboring resident no additional evidence was found and there was no indication that Michael had been in any other neighbor's yard other than 1102 Red Wing Street. The purpose of the search was an investigation step to eliminate all other possibilities. We remain confident that the uh, evidence shows that Michael's remains had been moved and the investigation continues as we follow all leads. Fruitland Police Chief J.D. Huff said... Additional contacts have been made with the two outstanding individuals needed for questioning. We appreciate the community's help to provide information on the whereabouts of Brandon, 30, and of Ida. I, I'm going to have to zoom in. And the other guy. Uh, the Fruitland Police Department is working closely with uh, county prosecutors as we continue to work. This active and ongoing investigation, the Fruitland Police Department is grateful for the continued community support and uh, participation we pers as we pursue justice in this case. Tips can be sent to the Fruitland Police Department or your local 911 guys. So, uh, not really much new information. It sounds like they have talked to the two guys that they were looking for, which I mean, I guess that's a good thing because there there was four people uh, involved potentially and these two guys were uh people they were looking for but uh, but if i read this correctly it says they talked to them we we have uh it says providing information on the whereabouts of brandon so yes they and the other guy uh i can't pronounce his name right so i'm just calling the other guy but uh it sounds like they've talked to them and if they didn't arrest them they didn't give them any really new information, so this is all we got for now, guys. So there's at least some, somewhat of an update, not much.